Morning, Commissioner. Morning. Are you going to miss this? Morning. <laughs> The commissioner hasn't always relished being grilled by politicians. Today was to be his last appearance before them at City Hall. The advert for his successor, who'll get a £270,000 a year salary, has now been published. But it seems it could be months before they start. We'd hope to have a successful candidate um, in terms of, I'm trying to remember the shortlist. I think it's mid February. Is it mid February? Yeah, mid February. Mid so so we, we're likely to have a candidate announced around mid-February. Yeah. Remind me, Mr Bernard, when you're leaving? Uh, the end of February. End of February, OK. It, it does make the point that for a given period of time, possibly three months, maybe six months, London will be without a commissioner. It's because Sir Bernard's leaving his job seven months early, after Mayor Sadiq Khan gave him only a one-year extension. It could have been an extra three years. It was at the end of October when Sir Bernard announced his retirement. Yesterday, his job was advertised, and the start of January is the deadline for applications. The new commissioner will be announced in the middle of February, just two weeks before Sir Bernard leaves the Met. It means it could be March, April, or even May before his replacement has worked their notice period. The mayor's team insists it's not a problem. London will be with a very strong Metropolitan Police Service, with a very strong strategic leadership. It's the well-regarded Deputy Commissioner, Craig Mackey, who will be holding the fort until the new boss starts. But who will take over full-time? Could it be Cressida Dick, currently at the Foreign Office, or Sarah Thornton at the National Police Chiefs Council? There's internal candidate Mark Rowley, or maybe Stephen Kavanagh, Chief of Essex Police. The Metropolitan Police is moving to a new home here on the Victoria Embankment. By this time next week, the distinctive new Scotland Yard sign, which they brought across, should be revolving once again. New teams will be moving in, but by the end of next February, when Sir Bernard leaves his office for the final time, it does seem it will be weeks or even months before his successor moves in. Nick Beek, BBC London News, at the Met's new HQ.